Hey, first grade friends. Today we're going to do a quick review on money and then we're going to do a vending machine, which is super fun. So let's do a quick review. Um, this first coin at the bottom, remember that's a penny because that's the only one that's bronze looking. This is a picture of the front and this is a picture of kind of some of the backs of pennies. Some of the pennies change. But remember, a penny is worth one. So it equals one cent. Or if it was written like this, it would be zero dollars and one cent. Okay. Now the one right above it, remember that's a nickel and a nickel equals five. A nickel is worth five cents or it can be written as zero dollars and five cents. Okay. The one right above it, that is five more cents than the nickel. So that's a dime and that's worth 10 cents which can be written as zero dollars and 10 cents. Notice how the place value changes. And remember up at the top, that's our biggest coin we talk about and that's a quarter and a quarter is worth 25 cents. So when we write that, it's gonna be looking like this when we include it with the dollar sign. Now, in your math journal on page 197, there is a picture of a vending machine. How awesome is that? And then on Seesaw, there are a couple different problems that go along with that. So let's do one for example. So I want to buy some peanuts and the peanuts are 55 cents. So I have to think to myself, okay, what coins can I use to make 55 cents? And there's lots of combinations. Let's do a couple. All right, 55. Now, if I counted by fives, could I get to 55? Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So I did 11 nickels. That got me to 55. What's another thing that I could do? I could do 55 pennies because... A penny is worth one cent, so if I add one, two, three, all the way up to 55, I would have 55 pennies. That equals 55 cents. And there's one more I'm going to throw at you. Two quarters plus a nickel. So 25.50. Oh, there's our 25.50. We're going to have two quarters plus one nickel. And that is also going to equal 55 cents. Now there's a bunch more of um, activities and questions that go along with this vending machine. Now there is a vending machine included in the Seesaw activity, but if you want one that's a little bit bigger, it's on page 197. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.